They have a congregation of over 45,000 people at their Lakewood Church in Houston, Texas, but Joel and Victoria Osteen share their message with millions of people around the world through their televised services. They touch even more people as they travel to different cities around the country for America's Night of Hope. It's a night of ministry dedicated to Jesus and faith. And this week, Joel and Victoria celebrate the 10th anniversary of the event at no place other than Yankee Stadium. Wow. They're here at Huffles Live right now to tell us more about it. Joel and Victoria Osteen, good to see you both. Hey, thanks for having us, Mark. I often find myself retweeting you. I wake up and I see your messages and they inspire me, they excite me. I feel like the world is a little more bearable sometimes when you get wisdom, practical wisdom. Yeah. But there are other people who are also looking for religion. You make a distinction, as you just did, between sort of religion and what you're doing. What is that distinction and why is it important to you? Yeah, it's important to me because, of course, I grew up in this with my dad, you know, being a pastor, me being a preacher's kid. My father was very open, a, a lot like me in terms of, you know, some people grew up and see religion. It's, it's the rules. It's what you're doing wrong. You could never live up to it. It's, you know, you go to church to feel guilty and most people mm. feel guilty enough. Yeah. And so the difference to me is it's, it's just the connotations that it has, the, the connotation, I guess, is just, uh, you know, that part. So I like to say, you know, we're just talking about a relationship with God. We're normal people. It's, it's just talking about living a, uh, a, a blessed life, being a blessing to other people, being happy, having good relationships. I believe that's what, you know, when Jesus was here on the earth, you know, when you read the Bible, he went to, he went to the marketplace. He went to, he didn't just stay in the synagogues and in the, in the temples of that day. And so that's what our message is about, is going to the everyday people. Um, you know, I, I realized a lot of people didn't grow up in this like me. You yeah. know, so they don't, this is all, it's different to them, but I try to take a little bit of that spookiness off and say, you know what, we're just, God is, is he's somebody that's for you and, um, you know, he can help you, he can make life go better. Do you ever find that people don't see you two as regular people? As, despite all the messages of, look, we're ordinary folk, we just travel here around the world trying to spread this message of a relationship with God, that people still see you all up here as opposed to regular folk? Well, I don't know, really, because um, we feel people approach us just like they knew us. So oh. that makes us feel like that maybe we are just regular folk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's good to be it's good to be just regular. And I think, too, the message presents itself in a way that, you know, we face these same challenges. We're, we're not telling anyone to do anything that we don't do every single day, yeah. you know, because that's the way it is. You just got to kind of fight through with faith and and look for the positive and know that there are better days and try not to get stuck. Yeah. And it, it's not temporary, it's just a moment, you know. So we, uh, we, we, we have the greatest people out there who, who come up to us and tell us their stories and it inspires us. In terms of rules, I mean, the big ones are easy, right? Like you probably shouldn't steal, you probably yeah. shouldn't kill people. Um, those are things that probably all sure. religions kind of agree on, right? There's no contention. But like an issue like gay marriage, people look to the ministers for, for, sure. for, uh, for leadership. Is that an issue that's for you against the rules? Um, you know, it, it, it would be, but Mark, I, I don't, you know, I don't really focus on a lot of those things. I try to stay in my lane of what I feel called to do. Mm. Now that, that does come up in, in interviews and things, but just don't feel like that's, that's not my core message. My core message is how do you, how do you have a healthy self-image? How do you let go of the past? How do you raise good children? How do you reach your dreams? Now, I know that is part of it. Yeah, but because if I you have 45,000 people, yeah. some of them are gay. It, it, oh, yeah. For yeah. example, among Absolute, other things. Yeah. Absolutely. absolutely. And everybody's welcome. But my, my take on it is, you know, it's easy to make one issue to become known for that or to, or to let it sidetrack your message. And, you know, if you look at our congregation or the people that come to Yankee Stadium, including myself, we all have issues. Everybody's on a journey. So I try to say, here's, here's my focus. Here's my lane. You know, and that's that's kind of where I've I've stayed in that. According to uh, Barnes, anything over two thousand members in the mega church, right. none of them are alike. The notion people who stand outside of us categorize us as, as if we are monolithic.